This is providing an exclusive opportunity to speak with him live from Washington, D.C. today. He represents a large portion of our viewing area, and Congressman Adderholt, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good to be with you. Yes, well, thank you. Now, the first thing I want to do is we want to play a soundbite from the president yesterday. He laid out a few reasons why he feels the uh, sequester cuts were a bad idea. We're going to play this, and then I want to get your reaction to it. Let's listen. If you look right now at what our economy needs, uh, taking $85 billion out of it over the next six months, indiscriminately, arbitrarily, without a strategy behind it, um, that's not a smart thing to do if we're serious about making sure that America grows and that our middle class is thriving and there are ladders of opportunity into the middle class. All right, Congressman, that, that pretty sounds like a fairly reasonable statement. How, how do you react to that? Well, two things. First of all, uh, I think uh, when he mentions the fact that just indiscriminately cutting across the board is a bad thing to do, I th everyone agrees with that, Republicans and Democrats. And I, I, I think that's why it's, it's encouraging at least the president is going to have the leaders down uh, from the House and the Senate down tomorrow to the White House. Unfortunately, it's taken this long for that to happen. Uh, cutting across the board and just indiscriminately cutting, that's the problem. But uh, quite honestly, cutting uh, two a little more than two pennies on the dollar uh, is really not a bad thing. Uh, we have we've come to a point where we have got to do cutting here in Washington. So cutting is what uh, uh, needs to be done and what has to be done. Uh the problem is that uh, the president does not uh, want to cut. I, I, he wants to look at raising taxes in order to make up the difference. And uh, Republicans are saying that we need to cut. All right, Congressman, you know, of course, many workers will be affected by the uh, sequestration because of the defense industry here in North Alabama. Uh, talking to defense workers, they've been told their furloughs won't begin for about a month. Uh, any chance you think we could figure this out between now and then? Well, it's encouraging that the president is having the leaders down at the White House uh, tomorrow. Uh, and, you know, this should have happened over a week ago uh, or maybe two weeks ago uh, but uh, I think there's there's still time that this could be fixed uh, even though it goes into effect tomorrow but uh, you know by and large most Americans I don't think will really see any any impact from this but again we could make this same cut uh, a little over two pennies on a dollar that's I think that's very reasonable for Washington to cut we just need to make sure that we cut it in the right way and that's what everyone agrees on and so hopefully tomorrow when this president sits down uh, with uh, the leaders of the House and the Senate. They can work out some framework, bring it back to the members of the House and Senate, and we can get something passed. All right, Congressman, Americans have been saying uh, in, in, in a majority, I think, that they'd like to see some bipartisan work on this. Do you think we can get that to solve sequestration? Well, that's what it's going to take. I mean, right now, you know, we're a very divided country. Uh, you know, that's why uh, we have a very divided country. That's why we saw the election results that we saw uh, last fall. We had a Republican uh, House uh, to go back into the 113th Congress while we had a, a Democrat Senate and then, of course, a Democrat to White House. So we have a divided government right now. So we uh, that's what uh, people sent to Washington. But at the same time, I think that one thing we all can agree on, both Democrats and Republicans, is that these cuts take place in a very strategic manner. And that's what would really make a difference in saving jobs, even saving jobs up in North Alabama. And so uh, hopefully that, uh, that tomorrow when they sit down, they'll say, uh, we're going to cut. We're just going to make sure we cut in the right places. Okay, like we needed another uh, crisis, but it appears that at the end of this month, the continuing resolution to uh, pay for the government's operations is going to run out. Are we going to have another, uh, another crisis when we get to that? Are we going to have legislation to keep funding the government? Well, right now, uh, matter of fact, uh, we're starting to work, uh, even uh, as we speak, we're working on a uh, continuing resolution to make sure that the government stays open at the end of the month. As you know, uh, the uh, current government uh, runs out of money. Uh, the current funding bill runs out at the end of this month, and so we have to pass a bill uh, by the end of the month to keep the government open. We're, the Republicans, we're working on something right now, uh, especially uh, we're trying to tweak the defense and uh, veterans' uh,
spending so that they will not be hurt uh, by a, uh, anything that would occur with a continuing resolution. So we're trying to make sure that we continue uh, uh, the uh, bill, the spending bill for the rest of the year so there will not be a government shutdown and that we can at the same time be 